to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP. Today, a special one for you. This is my chicken and mushroom with bean paste chow mein. A really simple, easy dish. It is that simple and that quick and easy to make that I'm not even going to edit this video. All right, so here I've got my wok, a little splash of some peanut oil in the bottom. I've got that sitting on uh, for this little hot plate. This is a reasonably high temperature. We don't want to go too high and destroy our wok something you need to take into consideration with some of these non-stick pans I'm just going to spread that oil around a little bit with my little spatula my little flipper all right just like that okay very very simple all right i've already got all my ingredients pre-cut pre-prepped very important when you're doing a chow mein or a stir fry of any sort so i've got an onion that i've quarter cut that's going to go in just like that. I'm just going to let that sit there and fry away for a little bit. I'm going to add in a little bit of white pepper straight over the top of that. Very, very simple. Give that a little bit of a stir. All right. And fried onions, nothing smells better in the kitchen. Here I've got a little bit of uh, green bell pepper or green capsicum for us Aussies. I'm putting that in. That can start cooking off now. One of those... Uh, not too crunchy, just want a nice little bit of a crunch, but we don't want them rock hard either. All right, that's going to go in, as you can see, it's steaming away like that. Now, I'm using a pre-bought noodle. All you have to do is put that in some hot water and let them separate. Very, very simple. So I've got Mrs. KP on the other side of the kitchen doing that for me. All right, now a little bit of Xiaojing wine. I'm going to put in a couple of capfuls of that and that is my official measurement for Xiaojing wine is a capful that's going to go in and it's going to help soften up and start cooking those uh, onions down as well as that little bit of bell pepper I give that a little bit of a stir just like that so far so simple and so easy and the place is already smelling amazing here I've got some shiitake mushrooms I've just cut those in half I've put those in we're just going to uh, take a little bit of the liquid out these are not fresh shiitakes these are the canned variety drain them give them a good rinse with some cold water get rid of any extra sodium or salt that is in there and put that in and that's just going to sort of sizzle away so here i've got a little bit of garlic paste i'm just going to put that in stir that through and that aromatic smell is already starting to take over the whole house it's amazing what this can do now this particular dish is another in my challenge series where I'm trying to create as many dishes as possible out of one roast chicken. It all starts off with my one pan roast chicken dinner. All right, if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. All right, so here I've got uh, some spicy bean paste. You can buy that from your Asian supermarket. I'm just gonna put in around about two heap teaspoons of that put that straight onto the top of my spatula or wok ladle or wok stirrer for a better word I don't know what you call this particular shape because it's a little bit of both okay all we're going to simply do is start stirring that through and the smell of that uh, bean paste is incredible don't be afraid of it it is a really good little ingredient to use you don't need a lot and it goes a long way and in a stir fry like this especially if you're using something that's got leftovers you can create a lot of flavor in a real hurry so as you can see the color of everything is starting to change it's starting to get that little red tinge to it now i've also made up a slurry which has got some uh, cornstarch or corn flour in it and a little bit of chicken stock now here is some sliced up chicken from our roast chicken that we did all right just put that in at this point give it a bit of a break up with your uh, spatula or whatever we're calling this thing all right just give it a little bit of a break up just like that give it a good stir through very very simple to do at the moment everything's looking a little bit dry and that's where our little slurry is going to come into it all right so just keep stirring that through and if you haven't tried making your own stir fries before or your own chow min style meal before it is so simple and you don't know what you're missing you can add as much goodness into this or as little into this but this is a really nice mixture of flavors all right 
and let that sit, let get it, uh, a little bit more heat into it. Right, that chicken was at room temperature, but we don't want that. We want something a little bit warmer. All right, so keep an eye on that. And you can see the steam starting to come out of the uh, the mushrooms and starting to get a bit of heat into that chicken. I told you I was not going to uh, edit this at all, so I'm not cutting out anything at all so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how quick this is. At the moment we're only at five minutes and a bit. All right, so not taking very much longer now. I'm getting ready to finish this whole thing off. I've turned my heat up a couple of points. In goes our noodle. I'm actually using a, um, a wholemeal noodle this time, just for something a little bit different. Wanted to uh, see what they tasted like, and they are really nice. They're really simple to use, got a nice chew factor to them. In goes our little mixture of a little bit of uh, light chicken stock, water, and uh, our cornstarch. That goes in, that's going to mix with everything else very, very quickly and make up a really nice light sauce. Not going to take very long to thicken up at all, and it's a very simple way to thicken things up and make good sauces just using the natural flavors of whatever you are cooking. All right, so give that a good stir around, make sure the uh, noodles are getting incorporated in with all the chicken and the vegetables that we've put in there. Very, very simple to do, and believe it or not, that is pretty much it ready to serve thank you so much for watching this video i'd love to see you try and make this one at home it's so simple if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too hit that notification bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up i'm just going to add a few basil leaves in here just for a bit of extra flavor and color share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media leave a comment i love reading them and i love responding to them meantime if you want to learn how to make uh, a little quick asian takeaway meal just like this in only i think we're up to just over seven minutes well you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again off to with my uh, beautiful roast chicken mushroom and bean paste chow mein and i will catch you next time bye